Hi, Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome back to our channel. I am Tarnisha and I'm Dominique and, and we, we are, are the Chosen Sisters. Sisters. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with TND. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing how to recover your drive. Yes. So before we do anything, make sure you stop what you're doing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell notification so when we post a video, you will be notified and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get right into the video. Let's get right into it. So I feel like today's topic is a very, very good topic. I feel like I say that a lot, but I feel mm -hmm. like every topic we do is fire, it hits every flames, time. like we dropping gems. But yes. this topic in particular, I feel like everybody is trying to recover their drive or mm -hmm. everybody is trying to figure out how to recover their drive. And that may, whatever that may be for you. But for us, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm in a, we're in the transition of getting fully, fully, fully back 100% healthy. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you know what I'm saying? Just getting our eating right and getting back in the gym. So we decided to do a seven day juice fast. Mm -hmm. And that's just a small step to get me to the ultimate goal, which is being in the gym five days a week, you know what I'm saying? Eating clean five days a week and just little small baby steps. And I feel like sometimes we set these big goals for ourselves, and they be so far fetched where we need just simple mm -hmm. little things to get us to that next level. Yes. I feel like wherever you are in life, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, I feel like you should write it down, whatever the, cause it's always a big goal. Yes. Big goals always trigger down to little goals. So you got to master the little goals first to get to the big goals mm -hmm. and just the small steps of things. You know what I'm saying? And I know I keep saying health, but that's the journey that we on right now. So this, this juice fast, you know what I'm saying? It's going to help us. Okay. Seven days, no food. So it's going to be easy to jump in right. put our good food back in our body. You know what I'm saying? And get back in the gym. Right. Of course. And then when we go to the gym, and stuff like that we're not gonna feel, we're gonna feel better about it because we've been eating clean and we've been on our juices and stuff like that rather than you eating you know recklessly and crazy and then you think you're just gonna mm -hmm. hop into the gym you know five days a week that's unrealistic you know some people may can do it and kudos to you if you can but for the most part like the majority of people like you need those small goals to lead you up to that and i mm -hmm. feel like too with recovering your drive like hopping back into things sometimes can make you crash out you know even worse than <clears throat> planning i feel like you do better you have longevity and you have endurance in your in whatever you're trying to do when you set those small goals or you reset so for me i know if i'm going into a week where i know it's going to be a busy week it's a lot of goals and things that i'm trying to get done what i like to do is have a day where i reset so i might go buy me some new pajamas or go take a walk in a park or something or go get my favorite meal or something just take that time to tune into myself and tune mm -hmm. into god and shut everything out so that my mind can be clear my spirit can be clear and i'm ready lord for whatever's in front of me so i feel like that's very important to reset and just have that before you even try to go back into doing something I agree. you know that's really big because sometimes you need that recovery you need that rest period and i know it's always like work 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 we gotta do this gotta do that mm -hmm. gotta do that but resting is so important and being able to rest it just helps you to recover your drive like that's one of the biggest things that helps me is when i can reset and when i can sit back and take a breath and see what's ahead of me instead of just diving into it because when you dive into it sometimes without a plan mm -hmm. or without that energy you crash out faster than what you started no that's true and i feel like <clears throat> what you said wow that was very very important and you helped me out a lot i didn't used to write like my sister write down small things that she mm -hmm. have to do rather it's um go to the dentist make a dentist appointment or right. go get seaweed which she go gets a lot um <laughs> just simple down. things like that you know what i'm saying i feel like and th that can help you get to the next level like some people are in a space where they can't even get out the bed they can't mm -hmm. get out the house you know what i'm saying they in a they they not in that type of space so something as simple as putting down spring cleaning or you know what i'm saying wash the dishes or mop the floor just those right. little things just because once you do it you're going to feel better right you know what i'm saying you're going to feel mm -hmm. better about what you did and it's going to motivate you to get up and do it again i'm not going to lie like we're on a seven day cleanse and like these walls is looking like vegan jerk patties <laughs> like i'm so hungry right now you know what i'm saying and i did uh, not want to get on the camera yeah. today whatsoever you know what i'm saying but me pushing myself to do this i'll mm -hmm. be able to look back on that seven day like okay I did it anyway. You know right. what I'm saying? I pushed past mm -hmm. it because when I get to the ultimate goal, I got this evidence to go back and look like, no, nah, you did that. Right. You pushed past it. You took the steps. You did small steps to get to the ladder, to get to the ultimate goal to where we right. are now. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I feel like it's very important to give yourself grace too. You know what I'm saying? Don't just jump into things. Sometimes right. it's unrealistic to go to the gym five days a week. Sometimes it's unrealistic. You got this business idea, but you don't got 50 bands to start it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your vendor may say, may say it takes 50 bands and you like, you will stress yourself out. Like you right. have to take small little steps to get to where you're going. I just feel like 
we in a point where everyone, no, no matter what age you is, I feel like everybody is in a point in their life where they're trying to recover their job. They're trying right. to get back to them or get back to the better version of their self. Right. And I feel like, just like you said, we're taking those small, like doing things that you don't want to do in order to be able to do the things that you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, in the long run. So you have to make those sacrifices. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's easier said than done. Like, yeah, we were so hyped. Seven day cleanse, seven day cleanse. Day one, I wanted to eat. Like, it was hard. <laughs> but I knew, I knew looking at the long-term goal, this picture that I had in my head, mm -hmm. long-term, seven days later, I knew that I was going to be more energized. Mm -hmm. My sleep was going to be better. Mm -hmm. I was going to feel lightweight. My creativity and my thoughts would be aligned and be better. So I was looking at the outcome of, okay, after these seven days, I know what I'm going to feel like. Right. So the little pain that I'm experiencing right now that I'm sacrificing is ultimately going to be worth it because it's worth where I'm going. And that's a small step. So you tell yourself that every single day, like she said, whether it's cleaning or something, if you know your house is, you know, filthy, you know, it's going to take three, four, five, six hours to clean. You know, realistically, you cannot tap in and do that. Say, okay, well, today, make yourself a list. Say, I'm going to do 30 minutes of cleaning. I'm going to set mm -hmm. my timer. I'm going to clean for 30 minutes. When that 30 minutes is up, then I'm going to move on to something else. You have to be realistic with yourself and what you can do. Just like a cleanse or a fast, like you can't hop into a 10, 20 day cleanse or fast if you never fasted before. That's mm -hmm. unrealistic because you're going to hit some bump in the roads and you might just quit altogether. Mm -hmm. And I've seen so many people say that they've given up after one day after a cleanse or something like that. And my first question is always, have you did that before? And they're like, well, no. And I'm like, well, that's unrealistic. That's the homework. <laughs> you have to, yeah, yeah, that's the homework. Like you really have to set those small goals in order to get to your ultimate goal and you have to be able to rest reset and like she said give yourself grace mm -hmm. because everything might not turn out perfectly the first time but you have to keep going and you have to stay motivation is fleeting motivation here and there and it, it all comes down to discipline mm -hmm. it comes down to saying i have to do this like right. today like we have to get on camera like it's no it's no if, ands, or buts about it. About it. It's yeah. not up in the air. And I used to be someone that was a big procrastinator. And so once I get into a rut, it used to be hard for me to recover my drive. But once I get back in it, it's like I'm a bull for real. Like yeah. headstrong. Like I'm hitting it, hitting it, going, going, going. And then I would crash out. So now I've learned to have just endurance so that I can mm -hmm. endure it through what I'm trying to do and not try to race through it because it's not about racing through it. So that's why I submit, set those small goals, make a little checklist, get a little sticky note, mm -hmm. write down three things. And I promise you, when you start scratching those things off and you look at the end of the day, before you go to bed, you say, what did I accomplish today? And yeah. you look at that little sticky note, see those three things and you're going to sleep so peacefully knowing yeah. that you showed up for yourself and that you, you know, recovered your drive just in that one day. That's right. And mm -hmm. like on the road to recovering your drive, <laughs> um, I feel like, you know, we got to get, we got to get comfortable with, with being in isolation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're recovering Very your important. drive, a mm. lot of stuff you got to cut off. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You can't be at the club. You can't be with your friends. You can't, you can't go get this new purse. You can't go get this new perfume. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's some stuff you have to cut off and you got to be okay with isolation. Mm -hmm. because that isolation is going to fill your battery back up. A lot of us is running off empty fuels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's time to fuel ourselves back up and we have to we got to disconnect to to connect. Yeah, so, I true. feel like recovering your drive, whatever it may be, we're saying health because that's what we the journey that we on, but mm -hmm. whatever it may be, business, school, right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is in your life that you're trying to recover your drive for, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Take baby steps. Yes. Give yourself grace. But also while taking baby steps, you know what I'm saying? Don't get complacent. Don't right. get lazy. Hold yourself that's, that's, accountable. Hold yourself accountable. Mm -hmm. That's why it's good to do little, write down five little things. Something as simple as getting an oil check. Because we don't realize, like, it'd be the smallest things to get to the big thing. Yes. Like, you can't, every big goal has different compartments of what you should reach and what you should touch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it goes to this big goal. So, you know what I'm saying? Just taking these small goals, just taking these small steps to get to the ultimate big goal is what's going to get us there. But we get so caught up on the big goal and it look unrealistic because right. it's so huge. Huge, mm -hmm. But you gotta break it down in the syllables. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta break it all the way down yeah, to the to the good. root to build yeah. it all the way back up. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this topic is very relatable. I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of people can relate to this topic. I'm not gonna lie, like we did this video uh like five, six times. Yeah. I, I know I know it's a good video because the devil try to come in and do mm -hmm. something, but we still right. gonna get this workout, we still gonna give y'all this work. But we just wanna say thank y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you yes. to everyone that have been you know what I'm saying? Reaching out to us. They have been subscribing. They has been supporting. Yeah, they has been coming that. in. Like, mm -hmm. we really appreciate y'all. That helps us and motivates motivates us to, you know what I'm saying, keep producing good content. Yes. So, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. If you're new, welcome to the family. Um, yes, welcome to the If channel. you haven't, 
Look at the last video. Like like I said, we're on a yes. seven day cleanse. All our videos are good, but Wednesday's video will yes, be so 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 important. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. It's, it's video. important. We dropping jewels. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's very important. Like we bringing y'all into our world. You know what I'm saying? We're opening up a little bit more and let you know what we do on a daily basis. So this juice cleanse, we've done it multiple times. But, yeah, so many times. But this time it's different. Like, y'all, I feel like I'm floating. I'm not even yeah. going to lie. Like, I just feel like supernatural, like superhuman. Yes. Like, if you know that feeling, then you know that feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything is just crystal clear. The thoughts, the everything is just flowing at a rapid, mm -hmm. at a rapid pace. But we, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, like to everybody. The, it's the small things that we appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Like I know people right. be looking at numbers and stuff, but it's like if I can touch one person in the video, I've done right. my job. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's so, what we're here for. We yes. just want to enlighten people, just and take you along the journey with us. Because a lot of stuff and topics that we talk about, we've experienced this stuff or we're going through it at that moment. So. Right. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, you have better insight when you actually have experienced things. We're not just getting on here, gapping our mouth, talking at the side of our necks. We're really speaking what we done walked through or what we're currently walking through. Yes. So, you know what I'm saying? We're qualified to sit here and, and talk this. And I know it comes through <laughs> on camera. Talk I know it comes talks, through. And it, when it we hits qualified. you in your spirit, we're qualified to sit yes. here. So when it comes through the camera and it hits you in your spirit, just know that's confirmation already right. that this was a word that you needed. So we right. appreciate y'all for being here. Like you said, stay tuned for the next video. Yes. Y'all been asking a lot of questions about the juices. We got you. So no more questions because the next video you better be in tune. You okay? better be in class. Class. You better be in session. class. In, Wednesday in we dropping. We're Let's get it. Let's go. Yes, we'll Thank see. you guys. Yeah. We'll see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.